passive speaker design for a phone. I've seen others playing around with different ideas, so I thought I'd take a stab at this. So just using Inkscape, I drew up some simple designs, and we're going to transfer this all over into some inexpensive pine shelving. Cut it out and assemble it and see what we've got. I don't know if this is going to work, but it's, it's an interesting project. So we've got three rings that are going to come forward, they'll overlap, and then we've got four pieces of pine that's going to have a circle that slowly moves higher, as well as a slot for the phone to sit in. These are our ring designs. And when I set something up for the CNC machine, first thing I do is set my parameters. So I've got enough space on my, on my table on the CNC machine. So this is the overview. This is the third panel. We've got a slot for our phone. This is the second panel coming forward. And this will be the first one. So we're going to save these as SVGs, open them up in JS Cut, and design some toolpaths. Okay, we're in JS Cut. Real great program to design your toolpaths. It's free, you can do it online in the browser or you can set it up to run locally. First thing we're going to do is change this over to a little faster cut. We're going to go to 60. Our depth went 0, 0625. That's for each cut. That's how much deeper it goes for each cut. We're using a 1 8 inch end mill router bit. So then we click on this. We go to create operation. We're going to do an outside cut. And since our pine is about three quarters of an inch, we'll make this about 0 0.79, 0 0.78, 0 0.79. We go to generate, and after we hit generate, you can see the line through here. Then these are our tabs. Tabs are really important so your stuff doesn't go flying everywhere. This window is for the depth of your tab cut. Do 0.5. Create tabs. They go red when they've been created, and we can see what this looks like. So here's our simulation. Here's our tab cuts. And that's our front piece. You can see the tabs in here too. Then we save our code and open it up in mock. We do this for each of the panels as well as the rings for this passive speaker design. Like with other projects, we've got our pine shelving material marked off. So we can cut these into individual pieces for the passive speaker project. Pieces ready to set up on the machine. When I have a project ready to cut, I usually print out a sheet that's got my individual files so I can keep some order to the whole thing. So we'll open those up on the dedicated CNC machine and start cutting these out. We've got four layers or four panels for this enclosure and then one set or one page with speaker rings. And the rings are going to kind of give that echo effect on the front. Cutting out the center circle. That's after a quick vacuum. So let's unscrew this and see what it looks like. And also remember to put tabs on these little circles too. I already cut this one out on this side, but I haven't cut this, cut this one out yet. But these are very important. If you don't, then these inner pieces can knock around and cause all kinds of damage. So these tabs are pretty small. So we'll clean up these little nubs and that's our first piece. So we'll have four of these and then the rings going out, coming out. I think it'll look kind of cool. Then there's a slot in the one, two, three, and the third one for the phone to slip into so we can bring that sound through. We've got our first and second pieces and the way this is designed is each hole is a little bit higher than the other. So front piece, second piece, 
Yeah, it's a little bit higher. And then when we have the third piece where the phone actually sits in there, that slot will be even higher than this one. So we can kind of make a canal out for, for the sound. So the third piece is on the CNC right now. It's one of the nice things about having the CNC machine is in between cuttings you can work on other parts of it. And again we'll have four pieces and then three rings that'll come out to about, about here. We have our first piece, our front, front piece, our second one, so it sits on here like that. And then our third one, and this is when we discover sometimes measurements are a little bit off. So that's the third piece there, but we've got a problem because it should be sitting more like that. So we could redesign this on the CNC, or we could just take a minute on the scroll saw and just cut a little bit more out there. Okay. First, second, and third. A quick one minute cut on the scroll saw. We cut out our little extra piece. We'll clean this up. We've got our space for the phone speakers. And our front piece. Working some more on these rings. Work on our glue up here. And to keep these things from moving, salt really does help. A really coarse kosher salt or really chunky salt after some glue holds it together really well. Got our main unit gluing up. Lots of clamps. Hold it nice and tight. With a little bit of brown paint. So it definitely amplifies a little bit. It'll hold several different size phones, certainly my S6, as well as this Nokia. It's an interesting project, came out kind of cool. Just a passive speaker made out of some pine. Thanks very much for taking a look.